back to another invigorating episode of Sangeeta and Show. I am your host Sangeeta Naik and today we are delving deep into an instrumental aspect of career growth for mid-career professionals, the art of embracing feedback while steadfastly pursuing your ambitions. Let us start with a story, a tale of resilience and growth. It is my own story. My boss during an evaluation told me, you were too perfect to be human. I was happy but his expression did not convey appreciation. I was waiting for his next expression, next comment. He appeared helpless. It is what I saw. And I was completely confused about what he was thinking about me. Whether he is going to give me any promotion. I asked how I should take his comments. You are a very hard taskmaster, he said. Again, an appreciation, normally, which was not a bit not an appreciation for me at that time from his tone. Then he told me, people would feel suffocated, especially the youngsters of Meghalaya. I was working in Meghalaya then, implementing the national e-governance program, the common service centers. We had to set up and activate 239 centers across the state. And I was handling East and West Khasi Hills myself, 120 people to supervise and another manager was handling the rest. Nobody left my team and nobody stayed in the other team. If suffocated, how did I have all those people retained? I asked. He said nothing. The evaluation process was over. He sent me to a prestigious training afterwards in Askai, Hyderabad, meant for senior officials of government, RBI, banks and many corporates. So what did I hear from this episode? Any guess? Many, whoever I discussed it this way, said different things as per the context of the discussion in which it came up. I was surprised and I was amazed that just one incident could have so many interpretations. When you ask others, you silently also know. One knows somehow, isn't it? But you know, I too gave myself many meanings of what he said and what he did. It was definitely a rewarding training and a certification added another feather to my cap. I accepted this quite late and that was so foolish. The simple fact was he wanted me to do even better. For an ordinary person, despite my skills and dedication, I felt stuck yearning for that elusive promotion. Just like anybody, any mid-career professional. It took me a bit of time to realize the importance of heeding to feedback and embracing it as a catalyst for growth, which was blatantly in front. So, step one in this transformation was learning to listen actively. Listening isn't merely hearing words. It is about understanding the underlying message, the emotions, and the valuable insights conveyed. I began to actively listen, observing feedback like a sponge, filtering out the noise to extract the wisdom. Step 2 was about reflecting on the feedback I received. It is not enough to listen but must reflect on the feedback's essence, dissecting its implications and denying and identifying areas for improvement. I took time to reflect, assessing the feedback against my aspirations, thus gaining clarity on my path to progress. The third step was the most crucial, taking decisive action. Armed with insights from the feedback, executed uh, my plans meticulously, tirelessly, pushing the boundaries of my comfort zone, I stopped at nothing generating the feedback's essence into actions that propelled me towards my promotion afterwards. Now, why are these steps so pivotal for mid-career professionals? Firstly, 
Listening to feedback is akin to mining for gold. It might not always be packaged elegantly, but within lies the potential for significant professional growth. Secondly, reflection bridges the gap between feedback and improvement. It is the bridge that connects awareness to action, transforming feedback into roadmap for success. And finally, action is the linchpin. Without action, feedback remains dormant, on tap potential waiting to be unleashed. Mine and so many others of my client's story illustrate how transformative action can be when fueled by valuable, valuable feedback. Dear listeners, as we are about to conclude today's episode, I urge you to ponder upon your own relationship with feedback. Are you actively listening, reflecting, taking bold decisive action? But hold on, we have something special lined up for you. An exclusive webinar awaits designed to delve deeper into these very steps and how they can pave the way for your career ascension. And enroll by clicking at the link which you will find with the episode. And let us embark on the transformative journey together. Here are a few of the steps that you can think over. Become an active listener. Develop the skill of attentive listening to extract valuable insights from feedback. Develop reflective analysis. Practice introspection to comprehend feedback implications thoroughly. Practice decisive action. Implement feedback constructively, taking bold steps towards career advancements. Explore feedback as growth potential. Embrace feedback as a catalyst for significant professional growth. Achieve improved awareness. Attain higher awareness by carefully considering received feedback. Ask for constructive criticism. Proactively seek feedback to fuel personal and professional growth. Get insightful feedback processing. Develop feedback processing skills to extract valuable insights effectively. Achieve personal development. By incorporating feedback into action, develop feedback integration, cultivate the ability to integrate and do so for substantial improvements. Explore career acceleration. Utilize the feedback as a roadmap for success. And uh, thank you for tuning in to Sangeeta and show. Remember, the art of embracing feedback is the key to unlocking your fullest potential. Embrace it, reflect on it and take meaningful action. Until next time, stay inspired and keep reaching for the stars. Thank you so much.